The Super 7. Web Woman and Spinner, two crime fighters who use the powers of insects to thwart evil. The Super 7. Manta and Moray, monarchs of the deep, protecting the world's sea creatures. The Freedom Force, with Isis, Super Samurai, and other legendary heroes. The Super 7. Stretch and shrink to incredible adventures with Super Stretch and Micro Woman, the world's most fantastic superheroes. Fun, thrills, and adventure with the most amazing superheroes of all. The Super Seven. lost control of our weather satellite. How did it happen? The satellite's been in a rest period and robot ELG was running all controls during the shutdown, General. And ELG is now running our weather space station? Yes, sir. He's being controlled by someone else on Earth, probably from a mobile base. Only one person has enough know-how to set up a base like that, Frank Johnson. Now the only problem is to find his mobile base. That should do it. If the jammer's activated, nobody can get near that space donut. Jammers activated. Next command, please. Take it easy, ELG. You're too eager for your own good. Whatever you say, sir. The Bear Valley Dam. A good place to teach McMahon how wrong he was to bust me out of the space program. Now we'll see how crazy McMahon thinks I am when he sees the Bear River Valley under 10 feet of water. Forecast for Bear River Valley calls for heavy rains and possible flooding. Sign the forecast, the Rainmaker. but you just beat me again. It's the web call, Spinner. Let's go. my insect friends.
I'm not sure what he means either, but we'll find out soon enough. Right now it's time for Web Woman. Insects of the world, small creatures of the cosmos, lend me your powers now! Let's go, Spinner. We've got a fly to catch. beginning to irritate me, ELG. I'm going to give you a new voice. The voice I have works perfectly well. Not for me, it doesn't. Plug yourself into the board. I am not properly programmed for... Do as I say! Hmm, <laughs> not quite right for what you have to do. Last night, I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I'll never know. <laughs> Very funny, ELG. <laughs> but General McMahon won't be laughing when I get through with him. It's Web Woman. I'll have to stop her before she ruins everything. Our only chance is the spin web. I hope you're right. We won't have a second chance. It's working, Spinner. The spin web's holding. ELG, the freeze beam, crank it up. I don't know. It sure didn't come from around here. It's a freeze ray! Keep firing until you freeze them! The controls are freezing up! Hang on, Spinner! I can't have it! No good. There's too much energy in that ray. The ray's transmission is ultraviolet, Web Woman. Alter the light spectrum around your ship. Right, Scarab. That was a little too close, Spinner. Web Woman, 
Our rescue units should be there any moment. The entire valley has been evacuated with no casualties. That's great, General. We were just caught in a freeze ray. Have you any ideas on the source? Affirmative. Our experimental weather satellite. Frank Johnson Station? It was Johnson Station. I grounded him, but he managed to put a mobile communication center together and grab control of the space station. He caused the storm? Affirmative. He calls himself the Rainmaker. There's no telling what he'll do next. You'd better come in. Roger. On our way. At your service, sir. Say the magic word and... Uh... Save it, save it. I got enough problems without your lousy jokes. So, web woman thinks she can make a fool out of me, does she? Well, they haven't seen anything yet. Okay, ELG, give them a little heat. <laughs> from the space station, General. I'm sure of it, Web Woman. The problem is, General, the satellite killer. What? It's a missile. It's programmed to bring down enemy spacecraft. The heat must have melted the umbilical cables, General. We've got a stray bird on our hands. Is the missile programmed? We had a test sequence in the computer aimed at the experimental weather station. That sequence can't be changed in time, Web Woman. Then it's up to us, Spinner. Let's go. Ah, that'll do it. Maybe I'll call myself Sunmaker. Maybe you better call yourself Troublemaker, sir. I think you're due for a voice change, ELG. Certainly, and you better check your scanner monitor. A missile, and it's headed straight at you. But it can't be. Well, it is, and if I were you, I wouldn't pay for it. Knock it down with a purple freeze ray. Web Woman's light transfer jammed it. My, my, six minutes, 45 seconds to impact. Hmm. Looks like I'll need web protection, Spinner. I'll have to make a spacewalk.
Skinner, scout around while I try to figure out these controls. Well, well, I got you where I want you, web woman. Make a move and I'll say the secret raid. Freeze ray. Well, I can always go back to sweeping floors. Not now, robot. Your circuitry is going to home the web track right in on Major Johnson's hideaway. Woman, I should have known. It's no use, Major. There's no place to hide. Small creatures, help me now. I give up, webwoman. No more bugs. Those who treat the forces of nature with respect have nothing to fear from the creatures of nature, Major. We won't be expecting any more forecasts from you, Major Johnson. You wouldn't have gotten any if you'd given me a chance to prove my theories, General. We gave you every opportunity, Major. But only if I did it your way and with your ridiculous guidelines. With our safe guidelines, you mean. We want to see new ideas and developments as much as you. Yes, but only if you can be sure they won't cause more problems than they cure. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm a perfect little robot. Really like my job. Oh, my sweet Ben Flane. I'll have all fun all day. day, 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 day. Spinner, I think you finally found the right voice for ELG. When Kelly Webster risked her life to rescue a strange insect creature, she was endowed with the powers of all insects. Powers enabling her to help others throughout the galaxy as Web Woman. Guided by the wisdom of Scarab, her mentor from a distant planet, and assisted by her partner Spinner, Web Woman battles evil in all its many forms. Web Woman. <laughs> What are we stopping here for? I want to get to that treasure before anyone else does. Oh, senor, please. The bearers. They're getting paid. Oh, my, what is that? <laughs> Come on, let's take a look at that temple. Hey! Go ahead, run! I don't need you. What in the world?
treasure. Work, Spinner. I hope Mother Nature will treat your garden more kindly this time. Oh, Spinner! All those seeds! It's the web call, Spinner! Let's go! years ago, friendly aliens on a distant planet sent a spaceship to Earth. It has been found by a greedy, ruthless man called Tsitsi, a man who will unleash powers that can destroy the Earth. You must stop him. I'm not sure what he means either, Spinner, but it sounds like a job for Web Woman. Insects of the world, small creatures of the cosmos, lend me your powers now! secrets of this place, I'll be more powerful than anyone alive. This must be the spaceship Scarab told us about. And I'll bet those consoles could clear up some of the mystery. But how should we... <gasps> of course! The colors of the spectrum. Violet, blue, green, yellow. Greetings, people of Earth. We have sent this recording from our world, a world far more advanced than Earth's. Ready to contact Earth with a message of goodwill and a sharing of our knowledge. But what if the Earthlings are not as advanced as we? Power is dangerous in the wrong hands. That is why we devised a test. The rocket's three stages will fall on different parts of the planet. If the Earthlings can't decipher our clues and find the statue's eyes, then we will know they are not worthy of their knowledge. But even if they find the statue's eyes, they still may not be worthy. Don't worry. 
sorry. The statue will not allow this power to be misused. You are the second Earthling to activate our computers. The second? Earlier, one of your species activated the computers out of sequence. He has received an incorrect energy burst. He is dangerously unpredictable to himself and your world. This computer cannot say where the next eye is. The only clue we can give you is this. An eye in a triangle. Hmm, I know. It's the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Thank you, Web Woman. Now that you've solved the riddle, I'll be on my merry way. No, you don't, Cece. You'll need more than a rope to snare me, Web Woman. No human can move that fast. I'm not human anymore, Web Woman. And when I find the two eyes, I'll be far greater than you. You're right, Spinner. Come on! We'll catch him in the web trap. I'll be the most powerful man on Earth. What? Nice catch, Spinner. Seat <laughs> seat, your treasure hunt's over. Big hero, uh, Web Woman. You're as greedy for power as I am. On the contrary, Seat seat, I'm saving your life. You're fooling with powers you don't fully understand. Don't give me that. Spinner, there's an image forming. Maybe a clue to the location of the second eye. I need your help, my friends. A Chinese temple. Of course! Come on, Spinner, we're heading for Hong Kong. No, you're not. That sound! Now I know why they call you Spinner. We'll be on Cece's trail in a minute. We've got to 
to find Sisi's location. Let's contact our friends. Sisi's powers came from the insect world and he's using them wrongly. The insects know it and they'll help us get the bead on him. Got it! Keep the web track right on that beam spinner. temple. The insects will guide us in. You're right on time, web woman. It's in here somewhere, Spinner. You won't have it for long, webwoman. Come, my termite friends. I need your aid. Spinner, those are termites I hear. Come on. Spinner, get it. That should keep her busy for a while. And now for you, furball. Come, creepy, crawly, and itchy creatures. I've won! <laughs> he has to place the second eye in the statue. We can still stop him. must purify, must correct. We will eradicate the evil before leaving. Something's wrong. <laughs> My power's weakening. No thanks, Sissy. Just remember that the greedy often lose more than they gain, especially when they strive after total power over their fellow creatures. I guess I had to learn that the hard way. What happened to it, Scarab? It returned to the distant galaxy from which it came. The people of Earth are not yet ready for such encounters. But we will, Scarab. Someday. 
<laughs> well, some of us will. The Super 7. Web Woman and Spinner, two crime fighters who use the powers of insects to thwart evil. The Super 7. Manta and Moray, monarchs of the deep, protecting the world's sea creatures. The Freedom Force, with Isis, Super Samurai, and other legendary heroes. The Super 7. Stretch and shrink to incredible adventures with Super Stretch and Micro Woman, the world's most fantastic superheroes. Fun, thrills, and adventure with the most amazing superheroes of all. The Super 7. volcanoes have totally surrounded Sierra City. Scientists say there is no doubt they were somehow artificially caused. There is nothing wrong with your televisions, people of Earth. I, Dr. Abyss, have created the volcanic eruptions as an example of my power. Unless all nations acknowledge me, as supreme ruler of Earth, I will cause the entire world to erupt. You have five hours to reach a decision. The web call. Spinner, let's go. is in great danger, Kelly, from an evil genius known as Dr. Abyss. Dr. Abyss designed the equipment which drilled the world's deepest mine. But while on a routine inspection of his mine, a cave-in separated him from the other men. Dr. Abyss made his way through a system of caverns until he emerged into the inner world at the Earth's core. He declared himself ruler of the inner world and now wishes to rule the surface as well. How much time do we have, Scarab? Four hours. And remember, Kelly, where there is light, there can be shadow. I don't understand either, Spinner, but it looks like a job for web woman. Insects of the world, small creatures of the cosmos, lend me your powers now! Let's go, Spinner. Next stop, the Earth's core. Thank you. Help! Help me! 
Trainer, listen. Help! That's being broadcast from nearby. Over there. You speak by radio waves. Thank you for saving me from the ant lion. I am Hexa of the ant people. I'm Webwoman, and this is Spinner. We're here to find Dr. Abyss and stop him. He has enslaved my people. I will gladly lead you to him, but I doubt if you will be able to stop him. We have to. The whole world is depending on us. <laughs> How could one man like Dr. Abyss enslave all your people? By hypnotizing them with a special radio frequency. Only a few of us were not affected, and we ran away. <laughs> Quick, into the web track. <laughs> Dr. Abyss, report. Hexa has escaped with a human and a furry creature in a flying vehicle. Someone from the surface? It could only be Web Woman. And my volcanic activator must charge its solar batteries four more hours before I can use it. But there are other ways to stop her. The sooner the better, Hexa. Uh-oh! Spider Wasp! It must think our web track is its prey. <sighs> that was close. Here it comes again! Spinner, take the controls. I'm going to try to communicate with it. Hear me, Giant One! We are friends! We are friends! It's no good. Dr. Abyss must be controlling its mind. Pull up, Spinner! What's wrong? The collision damaged the control relays. We're headed straight for the inner sun! until Dr. Abyss sets off the volcanoes. Can we make it on foot, Hexa? If we hurry. Then let's go. Spinner, catch up when you can. <laughs> there lies the land of the bee people, webwoman. We must be very careful. But why? Dr. Abyss made my fellow ant people attack the bee people and drive them away. Since then, we have been enemies. Hexa! Look out! 
out. search party to make sure. Now, the surface world must acknowledge me ruler, or I will fire the volcanoes. We are familiar with our enemies, the ant people, but you are the likes of which we have never seen before. I am human from the surface world. I am here to... You are captured with an ant man. Therefore, you are our enemy! Your Majesty, grant me leave to speak. Uh, very well. I seek another human named Dr. Abyss. It is he who started the war between the bee and ant people. He wants to rule your world and mine. Help me to stop him. I must think about this. You will be notified of my decision. But you don't understand. There is no time. <laughs> Turn. 
turn the ant people against me. But my solar-powered heat ray will stop them all! Dr. Abyss. Not yet it isn't, but I throw this lever. The entire surface world will be destroyed by volcanoes and earthquakes. And you can watch. <laughs> what? An eclipse? But that's impossible here. I ordered Spinner to position the web track between the antenna and the sun to block its rays. Where there's light, there can be shadow. <sighs> Without solar power, you can't even set off a firecracker. You're through, Dr. Abyss. You've ruined everything! Sorry, but you'll have time to get over it. A lot of time. Yes, we will never forget you. You are always welcome in the inner world. Thank you, my friends. Now we must go. Dr. Abyss here has an appointment with justice. <laughs> We've got trouble. Oh, thanks, webwoman. Lefty Nichols and Joe Dimes broke out tonight. We almost had them, and then I lost control. Don't worry. We'll help you get them back in jail by supper time. I told you, I could still outdrive any cop around. Yeah, but where are we going? This, this road ain't even on a map. Hey, there's something up ahead. Oh, this dump gives me the creeps, Lefty. Relax. We need food and clothes, and this is the only place we've seen for the last 50 miles. Come on. Don't be so loud. Somebody will hear you. That ain't me. Then who? Oh! There's the car, Spinner. Set her down. There's something.
something mighty funny going on around here, Spinner. Maybe Scarab has some answers. Yes, Web Woman. I need some information, Scarab. We followed some crooks to a very strange carnival setup right out in the middle of nowhere. And I have a feeling there is something very wrong there. It sounds as though the evil Madame Macabre has returned. And like Alice, you'll find your answers through the looking glass. Let's take a look around, Spinner. Hello. I am Madame Macabre, and this is my circus. The greatest collection of living oddities ever assembled. What is it you want here? I'm Web Woman, and this is Spinner. We followed two men in that hearse, and I... I have seen no one. But you are welcome to look around. Don't be frightened. Most of my creatures are harmless. Until later, Web Woman. Come on, Spinner. We've got some snooping to do. But we'd better split up. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Go on. I'll meet you in a few minutes. a woman and her little furry pet snooping around who will make fine additions to my sideshow. I want them. Hmm? Nothing here. Might as well look for Spinner. <laughs> going anywhere, my friend. Now, to find out why Madame Macabre lied about her creatures being harmless. <laughs> the Minotaur has failed, but you, my sweet satyr, your charms will do what force could not. Go, bring the woman to me. Spinner. Spinner. That music, it seems to be calling me. Woman, help us! Help us! Oh, where am I? You are now part of my menagerie. I take creatures from one world and exhibit them in another, where they are considered freaks, monstrosities. But that's cruel! Oh no, my dear, that's entertainment. I feed and take care of them, as long as they draw crowds. They've made me the richest show person in the universe. I hold the interdimensional map. If they tried to find their way home without it, they'd get lost in some dark, nameless place. Then we're all prisoners. Yes, until I no longer need you. Now, I have work to do before our tour continues. Hmm. 
Now's our chance to get out of here, Spinner. Spinner? With the web rope. <laughs> Have you out of there in a minute, Spinner. Hey, what about us, web woman? Don't worry. We're all going. I wouldn't try and run off, boys. If Madame Macabre catches you, you'll be a lot worse off than you were in jail. Don't worry, webwoman. The joint is paradise compared to this place. So... You have escaped, my little prison, have you? You will never escape again! Come, my creatures! All of you! Get her! Now! Listen to me. Now is your chance to escape from here and return to your own worlds. Don't let Madame Macabre run your lives any longer. You're wasting your time, webwoman. They are... <gasps> Wait! What are you doing? It's over, Madame Macabre. They're tired of the public humiliation you call showmanship. Tired of being prisoners. You're in my world now where my power is at its fullest. I control you now, Madame Macabre. You cannot disobey. Tell me where I can find the interdimensional map. The interdimensional map. The interdimensional map. you know. I have endured others' cruel jokes. I wanted to hurt them the way I have been hurt. It wasn't your looks that brought you the contempt of others, Madame Macabre. It was the ugliness in your heart. The only true beauty is inner beauty. The map is printed inside her mask. You shall be its new keeper. Lead these creatures to their homes and return to yours. You are free. What happens to me now? You are free to go. Without the map, your tour is cancelled. That was some exit. We can't thank you enough, webwoman. I was glad to help. Well, that's it, Spinner. Now maybe we can have that hot meal, bath, and plenty of <laughs> rest. Citadel 7. Gypsy Moth calling Citadel 7. How are you, Scarab? Aramak, my old friend. It's good to see you. I will activate the docking port and meet you there. Very good. Excellent, Aramak. Excellent. You'll never get away with this, Rax. Oh, but I will. Your friend Scarab will be at the dock to meet you, and his defenses will be down. It will be simple to take over Citadel 7. With the power glove, I will...
will learn to run the Citadel and use it to plunder the galaxy. Beginning with Earth. Nelly ain't had so much as a nibble since I took over the feet and shorts from Spinner, Kelly. You know, by the look in her eyes, I'd swear she was lovesick. It's Nellie Spinner. She won't eat. Well, I'll be. You were right, Kelly. That cow is in love. <laughs> Looks like you'll be feeding Nellie from now on, Spinner. Spinner, the web call. Is something wrong? My friend Aramak and I are trapped aboard this starship, the Gypsy Moth. Citadel 7, my headquarters, has been taken over by the Selenoids, a group of space pirates. We are now drifting free in space, passing near Earth, pulled by the sun's gravity. If you don't get here within 15 minutes, we'll be pulled right into the sun. We're on our way, Scarab. Insects of the world, small creatures of the cosmos, lend me your power now. Let's go, Spinner. Gypsy Moth has escaped with Scarab and Aramak aboard. No matter. The ship's controls are destroyed. They won't be able to fly it anywhere. Finding Scarab will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm getting worried, Spinner. We've already passed Venus and still no sign of them. There's only a few minutes left. Web track calling Scarab. Come in, Scarab. I read you, web track. Thank goodness! Keep that frequency open, Scarab. How much time do we have? The sun's heat will cause our ship to catch fire within 45 seconds. Hold tight, Scarab. We're pushing our airspeeds to max. We're getting close. There! I see them! Spinner, the sun filters! Here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. We've only got one chance. The sun's heat is weakening the webbing. I'd better give it another shot. We've got you, Scarab. about, Scarab? It is my fault. I'm a galactic merchant and make a regular delivery of supplies to Scarab every 12 Earth years. But this time, my ship was attacked and taken over by Rax and his solenoid pirates. I had no way to warn Scarab. And I, not expecting an ambush, naturally had all the Citadel's defenses down. Who are you? I am Rex of Salonia. I have come to serve you with an eviction notice. Citadel 7 now belongs to me. Put them on the gypsy moth. 
But Scarab used his fail-safe switch to open the loading dock and jettison the ship by exploding the emergency decouplers. It was risky, shooting through space on a ship with no controls. If you hadn't received our transmission, Webwoman, we would have been finished. I'm just glad we got there in time. Speaking of time, we must return to Citadel 7 immediately and stop Rax. There's no telling what he might do to Earth with that power glove. On our way, Scarab. And I'm close enough to Earth. I'll shut down all power on the planet, leaving it free for plundering. Sensors indicate an alien ship has entered the Citadel. No matter! Not even Scarab can withstand his own defenses when they're turned against him! My plan is simple but dangerous, so we must be very careful. Aramak will assist me in attempting to shut down the Citadel's power. Webwoman. You and Spinner take the most direct route to the Citadel's core where Rax is. But be careful. There are many dangerous traps and defense systems along the way. You must subdue Rax before he can use the power glove on Earth. Good luck. Okay, Spinner. Let's go. <laughs> Generators jammed. We should be able to temporarily block the central core's power supply. Begin, Aramak. Approaching maximum range to the Earth. Prepare to drain all power from the planet. Four, three, two, one. What? A power drain, Commander. Something's blocking the emergency power. It could only be Scarab's handiwork. We'll have to unblock the power currents. I have temporarily disrupted all power to the Citadel's core. I hope that buys me enough time, Scarab. Come on, Spinner. Main power almost restored. At last! Resume power drain of Earth! In ten seconds, Earth will be without power! Hold it, Rax. Continue the operation! These controls, how do they work? I can't remember! My power glove! Without the computer information stored in that glove, you're finished, Rax. <laughs> Men such as Rax lack true wisdom. They must use stolen knowledge to carry out their evil schemes. Thus, they are doomed to failure. But whenever they try, you and I will be there to stop them. Hey, Webwoman? I'd shake on that any day, Scarab. Uh, provided you're not wearing a power glove. <laughs> <laughs>
the dogs. He mustn't escape. to run, General. Now let's go home before Dr. Frankenstein gets any angrier. Hmm? Uh, Kelly, this is uh, General McMahon. I should have a telephone installed in my shower. What's up, General? Well, I just saw a carbon copy of myself near the old Frankenstein place. I think Jack Frankenstein is involved? Possibly. He's had it in for me ever since I fired him. He was using our lab for his crazy experiments. No telling what he's up to now. I'll find out as web woman. Scarab, I need information. I am listening, Kelly. What can you tell me about Jack Frankenstein? Like his infamous ancestor, the Baron, he is brilliant and very dangerous. Jack creates, then uses his creations for evil purposes. But remember, Kelly, Know thyself. You could be your own worst enemy. Insects of the world. Small creatures of the cosmos. Lend me your powers now! Come on, Spinner. Let's pay a visit to Dr. Frankenstein. I'm going to do a little snooping. General McMahon! Man, what are you doing here? We were wondering the same about you, webwoman. I'm here to investigate some strange duplications, Doctor. Maybe you can shed a little light on the subject. Indeed I can, webwoman. Follow me, please. This is my copycat machine, webwoman. With it, I can duplicate any living person is the key to my revenge on General McMahon, who fired me, on Dr. Dubois, who drummed me out of his medical society, on all who scorned me. But first, the amnesia gas. <laughs> a valiant effort, webwoman, but a waste of time. For when you waken, you will forget who you are and why you are here. You... Oh, get away with this. Now, Alexandra, the tiara. <laughs> A perfect copy. Prepare her before she wakens, Alexandra. Who... Who are you? What am I... What am I doing here? You were supposed to be cleaning, not sleeping. Get back to work. I'm your maid? Yes, but you won't be if I catch you loafing again. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Incredible. 
Kelly Webster is the last person I'd have imagined to be Web Woman. Mm, but it doesn't matter now. The new Web Woman is under my control. Come, it is time for your first mission, Web Woman. In that file. That, Doctor, is your concern and not mine. Oh, oh, stop her! Stop! Web woman, she has stolen my secret papers! You little pest! What you're saying, Spinner? Do you know where she is? <laughs> the old Frankenstein plays, huh? Let's check it out. Here is the file you wanted, Master. Excellent, excellent. I will publish Dr. Dubois' work under my own name and take the credit. <laughs> I'll ruin him, just as he tried to ruin me. Someone's here. Quickly, into the vault. Yes, Master. Yes? Is Dr. Frankenstein in? We'd like to talk with him about Web Woman. Of course. Follow me. familiar like like someone I used to know wait I remember you're you're Spinner oh Spinner it's so good to see you it all comes back to me now the amnesia gas the copycat Dr. Frankenstein come on Spinner we've got to stop them well thanks for your cooperation doctor web woman's a wanted criminal now so we have to check everything out Always glad to help the law, officer. Now, that doorway leads to the rest of the house. Feel free to search whatever you want. Hey! Hold it right there, Doctor. Webwoman. My clone has the same powers, strengths, and weaknesses you have. She's your equal in every respect. I will stop her, Master. Now it's your turn, Frankenstein. Arrest me, Webwoman, and I'll tell the world. You're really Kelly Webster. It'll be the end of Webwoman. I have no choice. Your crimes cannot go unpunished. You forget, I still have the amnesia gas. <laughs> That's right, Spinner. They inhaled their own amnesia gas. 
When they wake up, they won't remember a thing. My real identity. <laughs> This is the life, huh, Spinner? <laughs> Plenty of food, warm sun. Yeah. If you ask me, it's getting uh, chilly out here. It sure is. No wonder. The sun's starting to dim. Maybe it's an eclipse. No, we would have read about it in the paper. There's something strange going on. <laughs> it's the web call, Spinner. <laughs> Let's go. It, Scarab. A comet has drawn near your sun. A comet that is strangely empty. An empty comet? Scarab, I don't understand. You will. Now hurry. And good luck. Well, Spinner, it's time for Web Woman. Insects of the world. Small creatures of the cosmos. Lend me your powers. Spinner, to the sun! Spinner, there's the comet! And it's, it's drawing energy from the sun! Is it spinning? I know, Spinner. I have a creepy feeling about this, too. That's all. It stopped. Hang on, Spinner. We're getting out of here. Flame out! Hit the emergency power switch! It's no use! We're being pulled toward the comet! No comet, it's a spaceship! Uh-oh, looks like we've got company. Stay down, Spinner. them, Spinner. Stay put. I'll try and find out what this is all about. Come out! You are surrounded! Commander 
Zontar. We have the intruder. So, Earthling, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? I am Web Woman, and I have come to stop you from robbing our son of its energy. <laughs> you are going to stop me? <laughs> but our world depends on this sun. Without it, we will freeze. Millions of lives will... Your primitive planet does not concern me. I sell power to highly advanced, energy-starved worlds, and they pay me handsomely for it. Of course, if your Earth is willing to meet my price... Never! The sun's energy is ours naturally. I admire your courage, webwoman. It is a shame that it is wasted. Now you may watch us resume our work of draining your precious sun dry. Storage and energy transfer systems ready. Ready, Commander. Counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Energize. Isn't it magnificent? Now, take her away. Wanna bet? Garrett, this is Web Woman. Yes, Web Woman? The situation is more dangerous than we thought. Zontar has caused an unstable energy reaction within the sun. That means unless the energy is replaced soon, the sun will explode and not only destroy Earth, but Zontar and his starship. You must act quickly. Spinner, you're right on time. Turn that dial. Deactivate the force field. Come on. We've got to stop Zontar before our whole solar system explodes. Storage silo 4. Ready for energy transfer. Webwoman! You must reverse the energy drain. Unless the power you've stolen is returned immediately, we'll all be blown to pieces. You expect me to believe that? Then I'll stop it! Never catch me, webwoman. Let's get out of here. 
Mother Earth, here we come. Stop them. our picnic. Zontar. Oh, we won't have to worry about him for a long time. We burst the energy out of his spaceship like a balloon. <laughs> By the time he stops, he'll be in the far corners of the universe. tell you that Space Lab is the most important space project to date. Don't worry, General. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck. Computer, acknowledge. Prepare my shuttle. My plan to destroy Earth's space program is about to begin. Acknowledge. Question. What is my program should you not return? I always win. I will return. General, I want nothing more to do with your ridiculous space program. What? Barbel Garker. Oh, come on, Spinner. What kind of a word is that? <laughs> well, it may be a word on your planet, but we're playing in English. It's the web call, Spinner. Let's go. Kelly, from another world comes Dr. Despair. He seeks to crush your planet's space program by turning your spaceman against it so that he may become the sole master of space. But how? With this device, a mind block ray. If the ray touches an unprotected mind, it is turned around. You mean, whatever the person likes, he then dislikes. Precisely. And remember, Kelly, the true sign of determination is sticking with your problem when your friends desert you. Insects of the world, small creatures of the cosmos, lend me your power now! <laughs> Scarab, 
Orb Spinner. He must have a fix on Dr. Despair. Punch the location into the web computer. Any word on that UFO yet? Well, keep looking. We've got to find it. How are you feeling, Captain? A-OK, -okay, General. We'll make it this time. Well, good luck. Launch time now, minus one minute and counting. According to Scarab's calculations, Despair's spacecraft is headed straight for the launch site. Hit the afterburner spinner. I just hope we're not too late. Launch now, minus 30 seconds and counting. The foolish Earthlings are much too persistent. This time, I will teach them a lesson. Two, one, zero, lift off! I feel strange. What, what, what am I doing here? I don't want to go into space. Something's gone wrong. It won't respond to the abort frequency. So, Earth has a champion, eh? Well, well, this should be interesting. This is Wet Woman, General. The capsule has been caught by the runaway rocket. We're going to try and snag that rocket, General. Hurry, webwoman. It's headed straight for the city. Activate the web anchor spinner. Hang on, spinner. I don't know what happened, Web Woman. One moment I was ready to go into space, the next I wanted to quit. Dr. Despair used his mind block ray on you so he can rule the universe. The ring is causing a feedback. My circuitry will burn out if I don't get out of here. There are locusts in this area. Flying insects, hear me and obey. Stop that shuttle before it escapes. What? I'm losing power. Clever opponent who uses insects. Whoever she is, her victory will be short-lived. Thank you, my friends. Go now. Using the mind block ray on the locusts and turning them against us. Now to return to the rocket base and steal a spaceship. Despair will probably.
probably try and steal a rocket to return to his world spinner. We've got to beat him to the punch. Halt! Who goes there? been wrong before. Forget it, Dr. Despair. You know my web ring protects me from your ray. It protects you, but not the alien. Spinner! Yes, my ray will reverse his mind. Now he will despise what he likes. <laughs> You'll pay for that. <laughs> Keep away. No, please. <laughs> Would someone tell me what in the world is going on? Dr. Despair's mind block ray makes people do the opposite of what they want. He wanted Spinner to hate me. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> but ended up having Spinner... <laughs> Fall in love with him. William, I want to savor every delicious moment. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Perfect. Ah, there's one. I'd like a word with you. Stop him! Uh, shall we go home now, Mr. Perfect? Yes, William. That would be perfect. Just perfect. After them, William. On the contrary, I know exactly what I'm doing. Well, my dad's the mayor, so beat it. There'll be so many cops at your door, you'll think it's the policeman's fault. No one is above the law, young man. 
just as no one is above Mr. Perfect. Home, William. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Oh, honestly, Spinner. He'll do anything to get out of exercise. It's the web call, Spinner. Let's go. Welcome, my friends, to Perfect Island. I am Mr. Perfect. Uh, so, so what do you want with us? I believe that a perfect environment can create perfect people. And you are all here to help me prove that theory. You mean we're nothing but a bunch of guinea pigs? Precisely. Webwoman, what a perfect surprise. I am Mr. Perfect. There's nothing perfect about taking people against their will. No, no, no need to get hostile. <laughs> We're on the same side. We both want to restore law and order to the world. But the way you're going about it is illegal. You're no different from those you bring here. I see we are miles apart on our opinions, webwoman. But so be it. Guards! <coughs> now, take them to the valley with the others. be your new home. I'm sure you'll find it uh, most comfortable. I'm not. Have a nice day. Why are they releasing us? Surely Mr. Perfect must know I don't give this easily. Uh-oh. Pleasant. Please let us know. He used to be one of the toughest hoods in the city. Now he's as nice as apple pie. Now I am perfect. And soon you will be perfect. Like them. And now, won't you join us? Sorry, we don't have time to chat, fellas, but uh, there's some unfinished 
unfinished business to take care of. Come on, Spinner. Run, Spinner! We're going up. Whip roll. Fly us out of danger. The automatic defenses weren't enough to stop her. Looks like Mr. Perfect likes surprises. We'd better keep our eyes open, Spinner. <laughs> Looks like we're not home free yet. <laughs> All right, Spinner, it's worth a try, but be careful. Spinner, but our job's not over yet. We've got to find Mr. Perfect. They've beaten my perfect defense system. Right. Now, why don't you be a perfect gentleman and surrender peacefully? Never. No matter what you do, Webwoman, you can't stop me. I'm perfect. Get him! Use the ray! <laughs> nice going, Spinner. Now we have Mr. Perfect where we want him. What's going on? Well, thanks for cracking this case, Webwoman. We'll take it from here. I still don't understand where my perfect plan went wrong. Mr. Perfect, everybody makes mistakes, including you. The real trick for all of you is to start learning from your mistakes. So long, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs>